There are four different financial statements that we're going to be learning to prepare and interpret in this course. The income statement, which is also known as the statement of operations, the statement of retained earnings, and the balance sheet, which is also known as the statement of financial position, and lastly, the statement of cash flows. Now, the income statement summarizes operations for a particular period. So the statement always has to say for the month ending or the quarter ending or the year ending, it has to give you a period of time. And it begins with the revenues, and then we subtract the expenses, and we either have net income or net loss. Throughout the semester, we're going to see various formats for the income statement, but at its core, it in its most simple presentation, it is really a summary of the revenues minus the expenses. The statement of retained earnings summarizes the change in the retained earnings balance for the company. So we begin with the beginning balance of retained earnings. So if it's a brand new company, the beginning balance is zero because there are no earnings from prior periods. But if it's the second or future years of the company, the beginning balance is the ending balance from the prior year, becomes the beginning balance for the current year. We add to it any net income or we subtract if there is any net loss, right? Because this is how the revenues and expenses ultimately impact the owner's equity. It's through the retained earnings account. So add net income or subtract net loss. And because dividends are a return of prior profits to the owners of the business, dividends are a reduction of retained earnings. And then that leaves us with the ending balance in the retained earnings account. So the first statement we prepare is the income statement. The second statement is the statement of retained earnings. Third, we prepare the balance sheet. Now, a balance sheet can be structured vertically or it can be structured horizontally. I like to think of it horizontally, right, from side to side, because then we can reflect on how it relates back to the accounting equation, where assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So on the left-hand side of the equal sign are the assets, where the assets are listed and then a total is created. And on the right-hand side, we have the liabilities, where they're all listed, and then the owner's equity accounts. And then on the right-hand side, we come up with the total for the liabilities and the owner's equity. Retained earnings will show up in this segment of the, of the balance sheet. And please notice that it's called the balance sheet because the total assets has to equal the sum of the total liabilities and the total owner's equity. So how do the, they fit together? So we first we prepare the income statement and we have the revenues minus the expenses and that gives us net income or net loss. That then feeds into the statement of retained earnings, where the net income is added or the net loss is subtracted, and we end up with the ending balance and retained earnings. So notice how net income has to be determined first in order to then prepare the statement of retained earnings. Then we've got the balance sheet, which shows the assets, which have to equal the sum of the liabilities plus the owner's equity, and the owner's equity includes retained earnings. So first income statement, then statement of retained earnings, then the balance sheet. Of those three, they have to be prepared in that order. Last, we have the statement of cash flows. Cash flows are broken down into three different categories. Cash flows from operating activities, from investing activities, and from financing activities. We summarize the results of those three, and it gives us the net change in cash. We add to it the beginning cash balance, and that will then lead us to the ending cash balance, where we are basically reconciling the difference in how much cash we had at the beginning of the year compared to how much cash we had at the end of the year. And those are the four basic financial statements.